particularly where we live in an ironic time, and it's trite, but the best and the worst of times. Right. We're it's being true. poisoned from every angle, but we also have these amazing solutions to every single problem. We but just, you're not going to find it at your your allopathic doctor's office, unfortunately. No, because they're under a different model that is created by the petroleum industry and big pharma as an offspring of that. And mm -hmm. uh, there's that that model is inaccurate because every health issue is a voltage problem, right. and we've been told that it's a chemistry problem. Right. Voltage precedes chemistry. Cancer, for example, is plus 30 millivolts, whereas we can regenerate tissue and we can get it to minus 50 millivolts. And the devices that we're going to discuss do have the capability to do that. There's thousands of studies on PubMed.com. Um, heart rate variability mm -hmm. that is about a 40-year-old technology that is incredibly useful for the practitioner even to this day, uh, based upon EKG. Right. Um, NerveExpress.com. I have a $5,000 device that I bought from them a decade ago, which is now a free app on your smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> so, as much as we so might rant against investor, our, you know, smartphones, the fact <clears throat> is, amazing technologies are emerging on it, and this is free. So it went from $5,000 to a free app, and it works? It works phenomenally well, just as well. Now, there's not as many parameters as my clinical version. Right. And um, it, the, only the first 100 tests Okay, free. you've teased everyone. But, so what is this app? Uh, NerveExpress.com. Go ahead and download it. It's uh, about $100 for the chest strap and the Bluetooth, and it will change your life because if you're an athlete, you can see if you're overtrained or undertrained. If you're sick and you're taking a new supplement, you can see whether, whether it's actually working for you or not. The okay. HRV will tell you instantaneously, and it's not invasive. Okay, that. Give us another another example. Um, new Vision. Mm -hmm. NewVisionUSA.com, uh, fascinating product. Um, these products tended to be in the thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar range. EAV, um, on demand, things of that nature. Um, now it's a four thousand dollar product. Um, and it's a diagnostic. A, well, we don't like to use that word. Oh, okay. It's, a, what do you it's call testing it? and assessment. Okay, an assessment tool. We can have a long discussion on diagnostics if you'd like, but. Um, um, you know, I would like to have a short conversation okay. when you're done sharing this. Okay. Yes. Um, testing and assessment. Mm -hmm. So it's a trajectory device. It's looking at where you're headed energetically. Part of the problem with Western medicine's view on testing is taking a snapshot. Right. You and I are making a film right now. Mm -hmm. This is it has energy to it, and it's a, how much more can we learn from a motion picture than we can from a photograph? Mm -hmm. So New Vision is actually a motion picture of your life. Mm -hmm from start to finish, and so you can see what you're going to die from, and you can fix it now. I know that sounds morbid, but... Sounds like you're playing God there, right? <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just information. It's and just information. the information age. Well, and then now I'd like to go to the next element, which is which foods or food groups help create the greatest voltage, and I know we're highly individualized, but in general. Okay, well, you have to go to the bottom of the food chain. So all of your quality algae products, like BioAge.com, um, absolutely phenomenal. Each pill contains about the equivalent of 10 pounds of spinach in terms of nutrient density. Mm. Okay. So one of the uh, big things, I know you know this, about anti-aging is um, food reduction. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if we can cut our food intake by just 20%. Yes. And, re and add foods that have higher voltage, like this product. Like algae, yeah. Then the hunger doesn't even occur because we're satiated by all of those minerals and all of those enzymes. Because that's what obesity is. It's the body's cry for um, certain nutrients that are not present. When we satisfy that cry, then there's no need to store fat. So micronutrients. That's are not the only reason for obesity. Heavy metals is another big one as well, but we can get we can talk We're about that. We're going to get into that, yeah. 